Bonuses, bonuses, bonuses. Money, money, money. That's what we're talking about today. Welcome back, everybody. You know, what better way than to talk about a topic right now, considering everything nowadays is about a coronavirus, about the stock market down, the economy is taking a tank, all that nonsense. But today I really want to talk about something a little more positive, and that's money. That's bonuses with the UFC. If you're an upcoming fighter, or if you want to try and get paid, you want to make money, being in the UFC and getting bonuses is your best route. It's your fastest route. UFC gives four bonuses per card. Now, back in the day, they would be anywhere from $70,000 to $90,000. And the UFC would actually like tell you that day on the fight, like, hey, this is what the bonuses are going to be. Nobody really knew. I had friends that were old fighters in the UFC, and actually, they had $70,000 bonuses they would get, sometimes $90,000 bonuses. And that's a lot of money at one lump sum. Nowadays though, UFC condensed it down. There's four bonuses per fight card and each bonus is $50,000. So each card has about 20 fighters. So let's just say on average 10 fights. So you got you know, your blue corner and your red corner. What happens is throughout the fight card, UFC will be looking at each card and each fighter and each card and they will say, man, that was a good fight or man, that dude was impressive. And what happens is at the end of the card, UFC, Dana White, uh, Sean Shelby, they'll talk and they'll basically say, hey, this guy and this guy, they had fight of the night. And then this guy had like a submission of the night. And this guy had a knockout of the night. And they'll give out four bonuses worth $50,000 apiece. So, I mean, look at it like this. You go out there, you are in a great fight, bang and boom, boom, boom. You end up knocking the guy out. You could possibly get a hundred grand on top of your fight money. So, meaning... You go out there, you get fight of the night, and you knock them out, you can get knockout of the night. So that's, I mean, that's six figures. That's a hundred grand right there. That's a lot of money. Don't forget, guys, to smash that like button and to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot so I can keep bringing you guys fresh content consistently. Some fighters are bonus machines. I mean, every time they fight, they're making a ton of money just off of bonuses. And that's because their style is, is exciting, and, the, and they're, the fans love it, and there's good back and forth action. Or on top of that, they go out there and they just knock out people cold. You know, one of my best training partners, my best friend, Jeremy Stevens, he's a prime example of being a bonus machine. His style and his ability to go out there and knock people out and be in great fights, man, does that hook him up when it comes to finances. If you want to get that nice car, you want to be dollar dollar bills everywhere, you want to be looking good, looking fresh, this is the best and fastest way to get there in the fight game. Bonuses. I myself... I've actually gotten a bonus before, and I'm gonna tell you the story right now. So once I was fighting Takanori Gomi in Japan, I actually had a great performance. I went out there and I knocked him out in the first round. It was a co-main event. Gomi was coming off of a couple of wins. He's a huge household name, former pride champion. I myself was coming off of five wins. And when I went out there and I stopped Gomi, that put me on a six fight win streak. And right after the fight, I ran into to Sean Shelby in the UFC, and they actually re released online that I got a knockout of the night bonus. I had 50 extra thousand dollars. And I was like, yeah, I was just like, dude, like at that time, I never got paid more than $20,000 at one time from the UFC. And here I am, I'm getting a bonus plus my show and win pay. I was, I was pumped up. I was like, yes, finally I'm starting to make some money. I was like, this is all that hard work. It's paying off. I went out there and knocked out Gomi. I'm, I mean, I'm in the zone right now. I'm backstage. I'm just like feeling like a million bucks. Literally, I'm feeling high as I can be. And then UFC comes back and says, you didn't get the bonus. <laughs> I was just like, what? I was like, I didn't get the bonus. So I, was, I was like mad. I was like, what the heck? I didn't get the bonus. They're like, no, we're giving it to your, your teammate who was Johnny Case at the time. He had a great performance and they gave him the bonus. I was actually in a, in a bad place mentally because I was a little fired up. I mean, I wanted to make some money, really. Now I flew home from Japan back to San Diego and I was hanging out. And at this time, I'm like, I'm, I would kind of like, I'm, I'm done with the UFC, man. I really am. Like I'm on a six fight win streak. I, I haven't made more than $20,000 from them at the time. At one, one time, I, uh, I come off a huge win at a co-main event. They give me a bonus. They take it away. I'm just like, dude, I'm done. I'm done. So my manager at the time, he could sense that I was, I was kind of fed up and I, I didn't like where I was at with the UFC. So he made a great decision. He got a hold of Dana White and he contacted Dana and just told him, told him what's going on. I myself at the, 
at the time and still to this day, sometimes I have a challenge of reaching out to people. It's a little easier for me to sit back and instead of reach out to people, it's just be a little more introverted. You know, and honestly too, it's just kind of like it's easier for me to sit here and talk to a camera than uh, actually be out in front of a bunch of people. So my manager got a hold of Dana and Dana actually gave me a call on the phone. So I pick up the phone and I'm like, oh man, like this is the boss man. Like I'm a little starstruck. I was just like, what, what's up? You know, how are you doing? And he just straight up goes to me. He goes, hey, you know, uh, you know, how's everything going? Great performance. Long story short, you know, you, you've done great with the company. We, uh, we want to give you a $50,000 bonus. I'm going to give you that bonus. And I was just like, as soon as he said that, I was just like in my own head, I was just like balling. I was just like, dude, all right, I got, I got a lot of money now. I'm, I'm pumped up. I'm fired up. And he said, you know, we're, we're really proud of you, kid. We want to get you into a new contract. But most importantly, we're going to give that $50,000 bonus. And that was it. We got off the phone and, and I was just like sitting there. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I trust it yet. I don't know if I believe it yet until that, that wire and that, that money hits my account. Sure enough, Monday, I get a wire of $50,000 right into my bank account. Boom. I hit my first performance of the night bonus and I got it personally called by Dana White to deliver it to me. I'm, I'm fired up. It was one of the best times of my life. I literally took that money and I went and put it that, a down payment on a, a Lamborghini. <laughs> nah, heck no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What I did with that money is I saved it up and I do what I always do. I went and bought some real estate with it, get some cash flow coming in and to set up for my future. Getting that bonus with the UFC really put me in a position mentally where I really felt like UFC noticed me. And I really felt like the, the money that I wasn't getting up until that point, I feel like that bonus really made up for it. And Dana calling me firsthand, congratulating me on my fight, and actually stepping up and doing what was right, giving me that bonus because it was well-deserved. I earned every dollar of it. By him stepping up and actually giving me that, I was, I was very, I had a lot more respect for him and I was very happy about that. That bonus right there was a huge amount of money for me at the time and taking it and investing it really put me ahead of the curve. Financially, it was one of the best decisions I ever made, taking that money and putting it into real estate. And from my career standpoint, it was one of the biggest lump sums of money at that time that I've ever made. That's my rant for today. 50 stacks in the bank account, personally given to me by Dana White. What are your guys' thoughts on it?